was a quick look at your weather picture. Harry and Maggie, it all comes down to this. In just a little while, we are going to be taking off in this U2. It's actually a design that's over 50 years old, but it still provides the most detailed photographic imagery when it comes to surveillance. It's on wet film rather than uh, a digital film. Aircraft like this are uh, actually endangered species. There are just 31 of them left. But many think the future of recon and of aviation itself may lie in the technology of the Global Hawk. It cuts through the sky and remains in the air, sometimes for a day at a time. It's an airborne technological wonder. What is this beast, if you will? This aircraft is an unmanned reconnaissance aircraft, and it is 116 feet wide, 44 feet long, and it's a high altitude, long endurance aircraft. It's an awkward looking aircraft that has many similar characteristics to other surveillance and intelligence gathering planes. But it's so technologically advanced, that its mechanics work mainly from a laptop, and there's no pilot on board. You're not risking a pilot? Nope, they're back at home. And this thing can stay aloft without the constraints of, of human dynamics, right? Absolutely. But even though there's no traditional pilot in a cockpit, the plane's missions operate in a very similar way to the U-2 missions. They begin with briefings. We do see some clouds starting to form in northeastern Afghanistan at this time. And pre-flight checks. Everything's good here. The difference with the Global Hawk is where the pilot sits. When we're sitting in front of our computer terminals, it's, it's real. Much of what the Global Hawk does is classified at the highest levels. But we were the first national media outlet allowed inside a command center where the plane is controlled while its missions can be carried out thousands of miles away. We're not in a plane, but we are in a cockpit. Correct. We treat this as a cockpit at all times. With all the plane's controls in front of him on a screen, the pilot flies the aircraft with a mouse. Do you communicate directly with the boots on the ground? Yes, we can. The primary mission, to support the troops on the ground and get them imagery they specifically request almost immediately, like a picture of what's over a hill for an embedded troop in Afghanistan looking to move. Checklist is complete, MC. And although they might not be physically at the fight, Global Hawk pilots feel the same sense of risk and reward. You get the right information to the right commander at the right time, and he can save a life with that information, it's very satisfying. We were able to speak to one of the other heroes of the military, one of the pilot's wives, actually, and she said she's been waiting for this new technology for a long time, and we asked her why, and she said, well, my husband can serve the country, and he's home for dinner every night, and I know he's safe. So it's a very interesting angle, not only from the technology side, not only from an effectiveness side, but for what it means for troops. And uh, it's a, just remarkable to watch all of this in action. Harry, Maggie? Very, very cool stuff. Seems to be a win-win. Is it actually being used already, and, and how widely? Now, it's already used. It is continuing to grow, this program. But in the meantime, where there are gaps in the detail and level of information one technology can uh, begin to gather, uh, they still use the U-2 because this uses wet film. And no matter how tight you go on those pictures, it doesn't lose clarity, whereas digital images get, begin to digitize and pixelate mm. as you go down to a micro wow. level. So they're working on merging all of this so the Global Hawk can, uh, can be as effective as anything. There you go. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Dave. Dave. All right. Can't Going wait to see later today. Right? Can mm -hmm. we just see his clear images? If you want more on Dave's incredible journey or on the Global Hawk, just go to our website. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's you finished. Sure. Earlyshow.cbsnews.com. <laughs>